uh, uh, pretty competitive practice today. I thought good things happened on both sides of the ball. Our, our, our kicking game is far from settled, but, but we're getting much better. Q hit another uh, game winner uh, in our situation. Uh, we worked some good situational work where we, we worked some up-tempo stuff. We worked an end of the game, two, you know, uh, two play, uh, two down territory plays. Uh, and that was good competition to see. Uh, so overall, I think you know we had good practice. What were you looking for in the red zone, one versus one zone? Well, you know we're scripting without a down at distance, just just different areas of the field. Uh, it wasn't a live period. Uh, we're going to run our, our red zone offense down there, and defensively, we got to understand what offense is going to try to do route wise, run wise down there. So it's more of a, a, a teaching uh, tempo drill the way we, we did it right now. And until we get in the live stuff, which will be tomorrow in that, in that same type of period, uh, we'll start seeing it really come together. What have you seen in the development of our defense? Uh, Nico's had a good camp. Uh, I, I think the competition between him and Andy Jennings has pushed him to get better. Uh, he's made big time strides from, from last spring. Uh, he worked his tail off to get his body in better shape and he's, he's bigger and stronger. Uh, I, I like where he's at, so you know, I, I feel good about it. There was a report the other day about a running back to BYU, Joshua Pizzotta, released from his scholarship and would be headed to Fresno State. Uh, have you been in contact with him at all? Uh, we have been in contact with him. Uh, we, we, you know, he requested a uh, release and uh, uh, we sought their permission and we've, we've contacted him. What's your expectation? Do you have any expectation about how likely it is he would be a Fresno State Bulldog and if so, when it might be? Uh, I, I can't comment on that just yet. Hey, Coach, uh, are you worried about Nick Tell's pulling a muscle, a hamstring, and he's going into the end zone like that? Yeah, I got to keep I gotta keep reminding him he's not 22 years old anymore. He's getting up there. But, uh, no, I, I like the energy that he brings to our defense. Uh, I like you know how all of our coaches on defense have, have done a good job of getting excited when our guys make plays, and, and I think they follow the next that way. Is there still a frustration level maybe with the offense trying to find a rhythm? Uh, no, not really. I mean, we do some things defensively to, to try to knock people out of rhythms. And, uh, you know, we're, we're working three different groups, and so it's uh, it's hard to get a consistency unless you're playing one group all the time. Uh, and, and we're, again, showing them things that, that they're going to see maybe over the course of the season, uh, but nobody's going to run a defense like ours. So, so once we get it more into game plan specific stuff, I think that's when they'll feel in a really good rhythm. Now, Oregon, you're going to play. Do you mm -hmm. think they're that good? No, I think they're a top five team, absolutely. You know, I've watched them on tape. And they, you know, they're going to have a new quarterback. Uh, one of the guys that's a candidate's played some a year ago. They are very, very fast. And you look at that Wisconsin game, and you know they're putting <laughs> putting 40 some points on a really good defense, and uh, they scare you that way. And then you look at the other side of the ball. They've got some big guys up front. They run extremely well on defense. That'll be a, a big time challenge. But we, we got to worry about Weaver State before we get to those guys. You With your uh, one group and offense picking up uh, handling the passes, I mean, are you happy with where that is right now? Or? No, it's a work in progress. Um, you know, and that's why we go through drills. That's why we practice. That's why we got a couple more weeks to do this. Again, I think you know, if you look at our track record of our defense, you know, a year ago at, at, at uh, a and we had 51 sacks and led the country. We can do things to pressure our offense. And I think putting our offense under the gun of that is only going to help us to get better. And we'll get better. I, I, I've got huge faith in Co Coach Norcross. He's going to get those guys set. And it's a matter of understanding what we're doing and, and then technique-wise playing with good technique. Thank you.